Hoffman, a Reach Fair educator, and today we will be talking about germ-free kits. In today's world, technology has become... Oh. Uh, come on, we're trying to shoot a video here. We all use technology in our everyday Woo lives. Text message, yeah, yeah! Uh, come on, could you put it on silent? Brad, this is important. I'm sure most of you have gone and used a public computer here on campus or a friend's computer. Have you ever wondered about who was using that computer before you or what they were doing at the computer? Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Yo, are you serious? It's 10.30. I gotta do my paper. What, man? I'm just blowing up my ball. <laughs> Most of us today have a cell phone or have used a friend's cell phone, maybe even without them knowing. Well, shame on you. You have no idea what trouble you're getting yourself into. Ew, what is this? Oh, here's the number. Where's my phone? Ew, old Chinese food, old milk, toenail clippings, gross. Hey, can I use your phone? Okay, I'll see you next week. Hey, thanks for letting me use your phone. I think you got a voicemail. And I think I got a little dirty. Oh, that's fine. Don't worry about it. What's the worst that can happen? Ugh! Oh my god, Kristen, what happened? Are you okay? No, I just got sick. I think you need to ha go to health services. Good thing we started the video about accessing healthcare. Uh, Caitlin? I think I just found your phone. As we know, germs are everywhere, and we don't even really think about them. Well, that's until we're invaded by them, and by then, most of the time, it's, it's too late. Hey, Katie here. Tristan got violently sick, so she had to go. Got it on tape. You want to see it? Achoo! One of the most common ways germs are spread is from contact with people and objects, more specifically our technology. By keeping our tech stuff clean, we can prevent others and ourselves from getting sick. The idea here is, we're not trying to rid the world of germs, but rather lessen your chances of getting sick. Or catching something really nasty, like a moose. Ugh! Although, it would be nice if some germs didn't come around. Zach. Welcome back to Phobia Friday. Today with us, we have Phil. How are you doing? How are you, Phil? Sorry. Oh, okay. I gotta clean the hair, so. so, Phil, tell us a little bit of your, about yourself. Well, ever since the well scare, germ scare of 1999, I've been trying to rid the world of germs. The world germ scare of 99? See? Every surface is dirty. <laughs> okay. You missed a spot. Just kidding. <laughs> Something doesn't feel right, no? Well, I'm glad you said something. You can look right over there. You're actually on a hidden camera show. Gotcha! gotcha. What? <laughs> what? What's going on? You're actually sitting in a chair that hasn't been cleaned in three years. And two homeless guys and three garbage men all sat in. <laughs> Actually, you won't need to pull out the big guns for this one. A simple cotton swab and some alcohol will do the trick. Yeah, awesome! Who wants a Jaeger bomb? Not that kind of alcohol. <laughs> you want to make sure that whatever you are wiping down is off or not connected to a power source. You only need a small amount. We're not looking to drop your tech stuff in the punch. Hey, that's my phone! Don't steal my boyfriend then! If you are still unsure, the Health Education Office has provided you, the students, with germ-free kits, and they are available at health services from your REACH peers and other offices here on campus. Again, it would be impossible to remove every single germ, and cleaning it ten times a day is a little obsessive but we trust that you'll use your best judgment. We don't have time to list every single device or piece of technology.
but the best advice we can give is pretty much anything that has a high volume of use. Or shared by you and your dirty friends. However, this does not include your neighbor's cat or dog. Come here, Ginger! <coughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you real soon. Now I'm going to go fish my cell phone from the toilet. <laughs>